So welcome to the Bontex LGX seminar. Uh, we will have time. So <laughs> let's keep First our time is the charm. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, so very warm welcome to the Bontex LGX product launch today performed live in YouTube. Uh, today it's a very special day for us at Bontech. We will show what we have been working on the last 12 months. Uh, the result of this work is a new extruder called LGX. It's a total new package with a lot of new capabilities and features included. It's smaller, it's smarter, it's lighter and it's probably the best extruder we have ever made. Uh, today it's the first time we do a live product release on YouTube. YouTube. Last week we did some webinar with all our resellers around the globe, so they are now prepared to start selling the kit. Uh, before the LGX uh, presentation starts, I think we should start with a brief introduction of ourselves. Uh, my name is Henrik Enquist and I'm working at Bontech with marketing and sales and business development. Uh, we have built a strong network with nearly 150 partners around the globe which are helping us selling the Bontech products on their local market. Uh, we are also working with some of the largest printer manufacturers in the market and we have built different type of partnerships. One uh, specific important is a partnership with Slice Engineer. Together with Slice we are able today to to present the uh, uh, LGX, LGX platform with a top-notch uh, and high-quality extruder system. Uh, and here today with me on my right-hand side we have Martin. Hello, my name is Martin Bondeus. I'm the founder of Bontech and I work a lot with product development, but as you might imagine many other things as well. <laughs> So my, my name is Santiago, Nuno Santiago. I am the product manager here at Bontech. Good. Uh, so if you have any question or comments during the presentation, please use the chat function. I see that is uh, still working because we are getting a lot of feedback. That's good. So just keep on pushing questions and comments and we will address this uh, at the end of the presentation. Uh, but before uh, we start the presentation. Uh, let's start with the first word in our discount voucher uh, code. So please, no, no. Uh, so as you guys may know, we will have um, a discount code today for you guys that are seeing the broadcast. We will give a six percent discount on every order until the end of the day. Uh, the discount voucher is formed with two words and we are about to release the first. So the first word is absolutely. So this will be the first word of the voucher code. Uh, Eric. Yeah, you can. Good. No, no, that was absolutely it. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So could you please switch to the agenda for today's presentation? Yes. So. This is what we will Good. talk uh, about today. We will use the following agenda during this product launch. Uh, first, we will talk about how we uh, have evolved the Bontech dual drive technology. After this, we will present different type of LGX application, the generic LGX application, the Bowden application, and then uh, we will present uh, our first LGX special setup, the LGX for flexibles. Uh, in the end of the presentation, we will do a short sum up and answer some of your questions from the chat. Uh, so let's kick off the presentation. Uh, we will start showing a short teaser video. Some of you might see it in the, in the social media uh, uh, content. Um, this video do not show a lot of details, but Today, in this presentation, we will go into all the details and pre present what's new, what capabilities and functionality we have included in the LGX system. So please, Nuno, could you show the TC video? Let's bring it.
So, perfect. Uh, I don't know if we had a sound to the video, but uh, anyway, it was a nice video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the video was okay. <laughs> uh, so, no, no, let's start to present the new LGX extruder and uh, also describe how we have evolved the technology. So, uh, the dual drive technology from Bontech is already a reference in filament feeding but we challenged ourselves to go even further. You will see how we evolved our own leading technology and understand why we took our time to come to market. We truly believe that LGX is a huge leap forward in filament feeding technology. Let us uh, show you how. So the LGX is a 1.75 millimeters filament feeder and it is the first to use our new dual drive technology. It includes additional features we never implemented previously, most of them with the goal of making it even easier to use. The LGX features large drive wheels, filament pretension lever, multifunction interface socket, drive wheels maintenance wheels, a compact light and symmetric design, multiple mounting points and a small step for a greener feature. As we say, uh, the LGX is smarter, smaller, and lighter. Let's do a breakdown uh, of these new features one by one. First feature, larger drive wheels for increased filament grip. With the large drive wheels of the LGX, more teeth engage the filament at the same time to increase the grip and eliminate the risk of grinding the filament. Uh, this feature, along the custom stepper motor, also prevents damages from force-feeding filament to clogged or jammed hot ends. Second feature, filament pretension lever for repeated results. We replaced the hinge, thumbscrew and spring with a calibrated six presets lever system. The first position of the lever, all to the left, releases the engagement of the drive wheels with the filament, making filament load and unload very easy. Five more positions to the right give repeatable setups to achieve repeatable results. The whole solution is compatible with abrasive, rigid, semi-flexible, flexible and soft filaments. Third feature multi-function interface socket for tool or application quick swap. From Bowden to the direct drive and back, quick and easy. Swapping hot ends, quick and easy. The interface socket allows to connect or swap interface plugs that serve different applications or hot ends without opening the extruder and with just two screws. It is also an open door for future Bontech or third-party plugs to expand the realm of solutions currently available. The fourth feature, drive wheels maintenance windows for easy cleaning. The extruder looks amazing with the partial reveal of its drive wheels, but more than a gorgeous detail, those windows give access to easy maintenance. The teeth can be brushed, always good to brush your teeth. <laughs> Air can be blown through, dirt can be vacuum cleaned from the inside, no need to disassemble the extruder to keep it clean. Fifth feature, compact, light and symmetric design for increased performance and compatibility. Compact and light, the smallest and the lightest for performance. This is the leading solution in the market right now. Symmetric for compatibility. No more doubts and questions about what to choose, standard or mirrored. Simple, there is only one and it will become a standard. Sixth feature, multiple mounting points for easy and flexible setup. The LGX is the first uh, extruder from Bontech we supply with so many mounting pat patterns. Bottom, front, back, left and right, there are so many ways to grab it and to grab something to it. It is very flexible and will be easy to attach to most frame styles or carriage plates. Last but not least, the seventh feature, 
a small step for a greener future. Craft boxes without bleaching and no coating. A small step in the right direction. We are leaving behind our bleached and coated white boxes with color prints to start using craft cardboard and black prints made with ink based on sustainable materials only. The Bontec LGX boxes are fully recyclable. The LGX will also bring a new approach to packaging, modular packaging. We will start shipping our LGX extruders and upgrade kits using small boxes that act as modular units. LGX extruders are shipped in a single box, but LGX upgrade kits are shipped in sleeved aggregates with two or three boxes, as you can see in the picture. But a hard choice is in our way for a greener future. In the slide, you can see there is a LGX housing to the left with a particle blasting post-processing. The one on the right was blasted and dyed black, a process that makes the iconic look of our extruders. They look different. Each of us will find one more appealing than the other, but one is surely more sustainable than the other. And our question is, should we make the housing with plain particle blasting or keep using color pigment and kept chemical dyeing? A hard choice for us that needs your help and feedback. Please comment using the chat function and tell us what is your preferable choice. You can also send us uh, your feedback by email. Uh, we will release an email address at the end of the presentation that you can uh, send us your feedback. So now that we know what is new about the LGX and how our dual drive technology evolved, let's continue by knowing what are the LGX generic applications. Eric, will you please tell us about them? Yes, thanks, Nuno. Uh, I will now talk about the generic LGX application. Uh, the LGX could be used in many different applications, and we will try to describe them all today. Uh, so first, uh, let me describe what's in the LGX box. The box contains, of course, the extruder itself with a custom NEMA 17 25mm pancake stepper. We also supply two different interface plugs, one for Bowden application, one for direct drive application. And we have also included a hex key to be used on all screws on the extruder itself. Uh, here we can see a slide with three different LGX applications, the Bowden, the direct drive and different type of special setups. We will now go through these three different applications in detail. No, no, could you please tell us more about the LGX for Bowden application? Sure, Eric, I can take it from here. So, yes, as Eric mentioned earlier, the LGX can be used as a Bowden extruder. Uh, that can be achieved by applying to the LGX the Bowden interface plug. As a Bowden extruder, the LGX can be used whole, attached to the stepper motor, or can be detached from the stepper motor and installed with a plate in between, up, with up to 3 mm thickness. We will start the launch of the LGX as a Bowden solution with the LGX B, B for Bowden, for any cubic mega X. As you can see in the picture, the LGX is installed as a Bowden on the mega X upside down. It is also a case where the LGX is split and installed with the mount plate from the printer in between the extruder and the stepper motor. This is an easy process for which we will make available a video guide. The LGX-B for any cubic mega X is a drop-in replacement of the stock extruder and requires nothing more than the base LGX we will sell, without any additional accessory or mounting hardware. The reference retail price will be 99 US dollars net. This, will, this is also the launching price for the LGX, a price we believe is under what was expected from our back best extruder ever, 
while including the stepper motor, the bowden adapter with the threaded metal push feet and the recommended X key. So we are done with the Bowden application. Eric, can you tell us about the drive applications of the LGX? Yes, of course. Uh, I can take it from here. So let me talk you through the direct drive LGX application. Uh, to convert LGX to direct drive, you simply just use the direct drive interface plug. Our interface plug is now designed to be compatible with different hotel system from Slice Engineering. Uh, I will describe a different configuration that we will supply. The first direct application is the LGX with a copperhead hot end. This combination we recommend for hobby users and it's an excellent compromise between price and performance. The next one is the LGX configuration with a mosquito hot end. Uh, this combination we recommend for professional users. Uh, this is for intensive use and this combination gives access to engineering grade plastics. And we also have the LGX uh, with the Mosquito Magnum hot end. Uh, this combination is recommended for manufacturing users. Uh, the combination gives high flow capacity. It's 30% uh, higher flow capacity compared with the LGX for Mosquito. Uh, so in summary, we have the following LGX solution. We have one uh, LGX with a copper hand, which is for hobby users. We have one LGX with a mosquito, that is more for professional users. And we have one for with a mosquito magnum, which is more for manufacturing users. But of course, there is also other possibilities. Uh, the LGX with Mosquito Liquid is for industrial users. This combination opens up, open up for even more material to be used, such as ABS, HIPS, nylon and polycarbonates. So the first LGX direct drive upgrade kit is for the Artillery Sidewinder X1 printer. Uh, and here you can see a picture of the LGX upgrade kit installed on the Sidewinder printer. We, you also saw it running on the, in the video in the beginning. And uh, the LGX uh, for the artillery Sidewinder with the copper head comes with two or three boxes. The first uh, box includes the generic LGX extruder with, with what we talked about before, the, the stepper motor, the interface plug and the hex key. Box number two contains the fan shroud and uh, small other accessories to fit uh, the parts. And with box number three, uh, the copper head comes together with a mosquito fan and uh, a bond tech brass nozzle and you can buy it with or without box number three and uh, a little bit similar uh, it could also be bought with the mosquito or the mosquito magnum and the setup is pretty much the same you can buy it with or without the hot end so now we come to the special LGX setups. Uh, so Nona, could you please describe a little bit more about uh, uh, special setups? Sure, Eric. So special setups are the third kind of generic applications for the LGX extruder, and they are very important. Let's see how. Special setups are in fact extension setups we achieve by creating special interface plugs for specific applications or tools. Special setups can also be added to the ecosystem when third-party suppliers or OEM partners use our specification to create a new compatible solution. One example of such added setups is the use of cold blocks following the interface plug specification. The first special application for the LGX is an air-cooled cold block created by Bontech. This air-cooled block comes with a reversible aluminum heatsink that can be mounted to the left or to the right hand side 
of the cold block. The heatsink features a mounting hole pattern for 4040 fans. We do not supply the fans, so user can choose their favor favorite. In most cases, stock fans are used. The goal for creating this first special setup was to supply a compact and short filament path solution to better handle flexible filaments. The LGX for flexibles handles any kind of material, but especially well the flexible and soft materials. The LGX for flexibles gives access to softer materials, enables to print flexible and soft materials faster, keeps the print head small and light, allows mounting in many different ways. The first LGX for flexibles upgrade kit in the market will be the will be used on the Prusa i3 MK3S. We can see a prototype here installed and after finishing a test sample. This particular version features a stepper motor with the Bontech logo that will not be present in the production series as you can see in the video of the printer that we have here in the studio. Also missing here is the solution for the filament sensor already developed as we speak and working on the working printer in the studio. This solution will not be compatible with the MMU. The LGX FF for Prusa MK3S will feature three different boxes in a sleeve. Box 1 contains the LGX extruder, box 2 contains the air-cooled air cold block set and the copperhead hot block and heat break along a Bontec nozzle. Box 3 contains the polymy 12 parts including X carriage, mounts, fan shroud and filament sensor box. box. Each box will have its own SKU, YN code and price so you can purchase them separately. The full sleeve set will also bear uh, SKU, YN code and the price for ordering the full kit. The reference retail price is 257 US dollars net. Eric, the special LGX setup section is done. Will you do as a sum up and overview? Yeah, I will try to sum up a little bit. Uh, so this is the LGX overview. So if we look in the middle, we can see the LGX generic uh, extruder. Uh, and if we mount the interface plug for Bowden, we, we get the Bowden setup, which we can see to the very left. And if we move to the re uh, right, we just uh, add the interface plug for the direct drive, and then we get different type of direct drive uh, application. And we have one for the hobby users with a copperhead, we have one for more professional users with a mosquito, and then we have two different versions for manufacturing users with a mosquito magnum uh, or the mosquito liquid. And if we go uh, down in the picture, we have uh, one special setup, and that is the LGX for flexibles. And here says, uh, more will come. And, and if you have any ideas about special application, just send us an email or put it in the chat and we will uh, develop it. So that's the, the summary. And then uh, during the development of, uh, of uh, this new platform, we have used the forum of different type of beta testers. It has been uh, hobby users, professional users and manufacturing users and uh, they have actually looked in and tested our system really really thoroughly and they have looked into the performance of the extruder they have looked into the usability the quality and also the look and feel and appearance of the product and uh, we have actually uh, received a lot of really really good uh, feedback uh, so we are really confident that this new extruder platform will actually deliver a lot of customer value. Of course, we have got some improvement suggestions as well, and uh, that we have, of course, listened to, and we have implemented that in, in the product. 
So uh, actually we are ready to go to deliver uh, the next generation of extruder system from Bontec, which is the LGX platform. So I think that uh, actually concludes our LGX presentation. Uh, and uh, no, no, I think you have some final words to give as well. So uh, not, not no final words about the presentation, <laughs> but. Not yet. Uh, uh, we will give away free units of uh, LGX to people that are seeing here and now. Uh, we have two questions for them. Uh, we will ask uh, you guys to send us uh, a reply to these questions to the email that you can see below, info at bontech.se. We also would like you to send us along with uh, the replies a comment on our presentation today. Um, we will select three uh, winners based on the comment on the feedback, uh, the comment on the broadcast, not only on the questions. So let's uh, see the first question. I think it's uh, really easy, but uh, you guys will tell us. For you, it is easy. how many generic setups the LGX supports? It's our first question. This will give uh, access to a product giveaway. You can win if you reply well and if you send us an interesting comment on our uh, presentation today. Let's see what is the second question. So, second question for the uh, product giveaway. How many hot ends are compatible with the LGX direct drive? And when we ask how many, we, we mention um, our interface plug that is compatible with the slice engineering hot ends. So we, we are talking about those. So it seems that we had uh, some, some echo on the broadcast. Uh, that was because we had the two microphones at the same time, one of the camera and another one uh, here at, in the table. Yeah. Sorry um, about that. We can only apologize, but it's our first time, so yeah. maybe we can improve next time. For sure. Uh, yeah. Not maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we will. <laughs> we, should, we, we must. <laughs> okay, so we had a, we got a lot of feedback regarding the finish of the part, if we should keep it just blasted or continue to dye it. Uh, we got here uh, some guy that thought that we should have it with dye and uh, he says he doesn't uh, why it should be much more much better for the environment uh, not dyeing it it's uh, because of the dye itself contains some chemicals and it the waste water containing the chemicals will for sure also need to get disposed in a, in a yeah, take some work to do dispose of the waste mm. Uh, the stepper motor is a 1.8 degree stepper motor. It's a 25 millimeter pancake stepper uh, made by LDO and uh, it has 80 Newton centimeters of torque. Uh, standard rating temperature is 80 degrees, so it's not a high temp stepper, it's a regular stepper. That was a question about what type of stepper motor we exactly. are using. Exactly, Nikos yeah. Sapsalis asked about that. We also get some other questions regarding the stepper mode specification. Yeah. Uh, the, the specification is already available at the website, so the product pages are available, and on the technical information, they can download the PDF file with that information. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, the product page, somebody already defined the product page, it mm -hmm. says 400 as the e-step value. Of course, worth to mention here is 400 as the e-step value is valid when you have 16-bit microstepping. If you are a 32-bit user, uh, then you need, of course, double that, so that is 800. So 400 for 16-bit microprocessing uh, users and uh, 800 for 32-bit processing uh, users. Correct. Okay. So the micro stepping is important. The micro stepping that you have set on your machine will uh, implicate a different use of uh, e-step value. So 400 for 16 bits, 800 for 32 bits. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we've got a question here from Edward G regarding the gear ratio and what's the holding torque of the temperature rating of the motor. I've answered those one. The gear ratio is uh, uh, it's around seven sometimes, but uh, it is also in relation to the active diameter of the drive gear because that is what finally gives the E step value. And uh, since the motor has is a 1.8 motor with 16 bit micro stepping, it has 3,200 pulses per revolution. And that through the gear ratio and to the actual drive gear diameter gives the E step value. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. E step value 400 is, a, uh, we think it is a really good sweet spot between resolution and uh, also to be able to do quick and fast retracts. Yeah, Th this is something that I should know, but he is the engineer, I have no idea. So, good. Glad, I'm very glad he is here with us today. Uh, here, if it works uh, crazy, Craig uh, said, if this works for the sidewinder, there is no reason why it won't work. Uh, actually, that was the answer. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> it was a question if it works with the. Uh, sorry, I can't really find it here. The genius printer from artillery. Uh, yeah, uh, they are very similar. No. M maybe it will be compatible. We don't have a genius with us so we didn't test it uh, but for for the information that we received already it may be compatible we are not saying it is but it most probably it will there are some questions uh, regarding uh, upgrade kits for the reality uh, maybe you can answer that no no uh, sure. So uh, a lot of people are asking, are asking us about uh, upgrade kits for Creality based on the LGX. Uh, and for sure we will have some, but only uh, to on those printers that don't uh, that are not compatible with the DDX. The DDX is a very good extruder. It's perfectly fitted to the to the printers. Uh, we are about to release um, in about one month a new version that is even easier to install and it's uh, hard for the LGX to do a better job than the DDX on those machines. So on setups where the DDX is not uh, able to be installed, we will create LGX kits, but only for those. So it will take some time before we eventually have uh, units, upgrade kits for the um, Reality Enders, uh, CR10S, CR10, CR10S Pro, uh, because those work really well with the DDX. Uh, we've got a, a question here from Christian Kallenbach. Is there a plan uh, a cooler on the side to make it as a liquid cooler in combination uh, with the Magnum? Uh, most likely we will see further developments and further combinations possible here. We have just started this uh, journey, I would say. The so new, new special setups exactly. based we, on liquid cooling. Uh, will okay. most likely uh, show. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, let me see here if we have some more. Just a note on the, on the Prusa. So NinjaFlex recommends a 35 millimeters per second printing speed, and we are using 70 just because we can. Mm, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> we, we, we tried even harder but, uh, yeah. and uh, faster, but for now, 70. We got the question here from uh, Dustin Lehmann. When will shipping start, no, no. So uh, <laughs> the idea is to start shipping the 1st of February, so in about uh, nine days. Hmm. Yeah. Good. Okay, I think we have covered uh, not all questions, but most of them. So, uh, as we s said before, you can always uh, send us more questions through email. Mm. Yeah, uh, Absolutely. you guys can use the info at bontech.se to send us uh, your questions, additional questions, or you can use our contact forms in the website. Uh, they connect directly with our customer support system and. Uh, Usually we are r really fast to reply. Of course, not accounting with the um, time zones difference, because if someone in the United States asks us a question when we are asleep, 
we probably won't be able to uh, reply so quickly. Exactly. Uh, but other than that, we, we, we will supply all the information that you need. Hmm. Uh, if there are no more questions, maybe we could go and supply the second word for the voucher, so uh, mm -hmm. our viewers can uh, and uh, friends can uh, access the full discount code. Mm. Yeah, I think that's good. So uh, let's uh, go again. We have uh, two words, and now we are supplying the second word for the voucher on the on the cart. You have to apply the code with the two words. Uh, just uh, one after the other. The second word is amazing. So Eric here uh, it amazing? broke, <laughs> broke uh, the secret uh, earlier. Uh, instead of uh, keeping his mouth uh, shut, shut. <laughs> he told you. But uh, yeah, absolutely amazing is the voucher code. Uh, I hope you guys uh, can uh, enjoy it. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, so, let's finish sorry, up. Sorry for that. No, no, keeping <laughs> my mouth closed is not the no, best. No, I like uh, when yeah. you talk, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that was a good guess, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I was just guessing. Okay, uh, I think we have come to the end. We have tried today to present the LGX system and the new functionality and capability. Uh, we really believe in this uh, new platform, which will deliver uh, new customer value to all of you. Uh, as we said uh, before, we have done a webinar for our resellers. We have sent out all the materials to them. So they should actually be ready to have the products on their web pages right now. So it should be possible to order uh, from them today. Fr from well. them today, I would say, because we open up for them a little bit earlier to access uh, the information and also place their pre-orders. Uh, and uh, today we have also opened up for everyone. Yeah, the, the product pages are already accessible. Exactly. Maybe cash issues may stop someone from uh, from seeing the pages, but if you refresh your cash, I think you will be able to see it already. Um, yeah, before you, we go, can you show... Uh, yeah, someone maybe believe that it's just a PowerPoint solution. Okay, yeah. not a so, real product. Uh, we can really say, reveal that it also exists in reality. And uh, of course you have seen it on the printer as well. But it's really compact, light and have a lot of functions embedded. And here is the kit for the... So this will be uh, the FF set that goes with the LGX to um, create the air-cooled cold block solution, and it is it is being used on the Prusa. Good. So we also have uh, an LGX boxed. Oops, sorry. <laughs> so on the LGX box, we will uh, send what is what can be seen there. There, there are some sc additional screws that we m that didn't mention on the presentation, but uh, that we will supply. It's uh, longer screws for when you need to install a plate in between the extruder and the stepper motor. Can you also show the interface plugs that you have there? Of course. So these are the interface plugs. You need to plug this in to use as a bowden, and you need to plug the other one to use as a direct drive for the slice engineering hot ends. And uh, just to finish, can you show us the sleeved packaging? So uh, as we mentioned earlier, we have uh, the small box for the extruder and accessories, and then we have the sleeved sets, a two set and a free set. This will be what we start shipping uh, to pack the L LGX. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. I think that's all. Uh, we will uh, be available, as, as we mentioned earlier, for questions. But uh, for now, let me be the first. Uh, one guy also went okay, on the question. winners for the giveaway announced. When are the winners yes. announced? And how? Yes, so uh, the winners will be announced next Monday. 
uh, we will post it on the on the um, Facebook uh, page, but uh, also we will address uh, the winners directly so they know mm. they win. Yeah. Yeah. Good plan. Mm. So I uh, maybe I I can be the first to say goodbye and then Martin closes because he, he is the the top dog here. A good yeah. idea. We good give idea. him the. Yeah. best place <laughs> so uh, goodbye guys uh, thank you very much for being with us and uh, hope to see you soon later yeah and uh, thank you for attending this show uh, we had some initial problem with the sound but I think we managed uh, we, we will cut it out on the on the <laughs> file that we post later yeah. yeah exactly okay thank you okay thanks for uh, taking your time to uh, check this seminar with us and uh, yeah uh, this is the first but uh, probably not the last uh, live event that we will run Absolutely. and uh, yeah some words uh, to close down is uh, yeah stay safe out there and take care of yourselves and uh, let's see see you later guys yeah bye 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 bye, bye, -bye.